So today we are going to talk about the most reasonable thing that I would like to see Blanda steal from ZBrush. But real quick, just to finish off the discussion from last video, a couple of you mentioned how you can hold the Alt key in Blender to get more or less the same results as in Maya. And while it's very similar, I think it's important to note that it only works for simple variables like position, rotation, and scale. It still doesn't work for things like modifiers, constraints, drivers, or materials. But again, I think the bigger problem is that it's not intuitive and it's not ergonomic. Like really, it's not comfortable to hold the the alt key while you're typing stuff. And even with the alt key, it's still faster and simpler in other software like Maya and Unity. So I stand by what I said, and I still think we should adopt the faster, more intuitive system. Okay, let's talk ZBrush. There's actually a lot of things that I'd like to see Blender take from ZBrush, but remember, for this series, I'm trying to keep these recommendations realistic, constructive, and reasonable for Blender's small team to implement. So today, I'm just gonna list the smallest thing that I think would make a huge difference very easily. So, I want you to imagine that you are completely new, day one 3D artist. You literally just installed Blender. You know nothing about anything, but you do know that you wanna make awesome, beautiful characters and can't wait to start sculpting something incredible. So you open Blender and now you're looking at this and you're looking for the next step. You got a cube on the screen, but you need a human body. So you waste some time going online and you find that shift A is how you get new objects onto the screen. You try that out and well, you get this. That's clearly not what you wanted, so frustrated again, you go back online and you download a free 3D base body, but then you realize you don't know how to get it inside of Blender, so once again you go back online, you watch some more tutorials in order to learn how to import objects into a scene, and after lots of tutorials, hundreds of extra clicks, and a lot of time, you finally learn where sculpt mode is and have a human body on the screen. This is day one for every new 3D character artist when they first get into Blender. Now, let me show you what day one for a new ZBrush artist looks like in contrast. Once again, you're excited, you're new, you're nervous because you have no idea what you're doing. You open the software for the first time ever. And as soon as ZBrush starts up, this is what you see. And whoa, look here, what's this? That kind of looks like a good place to start. You click it and bam, within five seconds of opening the software, you are already sculpting your first character with a fully mature, beautiful adult female body. Literally after the first thing you click. It's simple, efficient, fast, and again, most importantly, intuitive. The developers of ZBrush anticipated what you wanted and made sure that it was easy, simple, and as painless as possible. You don't have to fumble around looking for add-ons, you don't have to waste your time finding free models, no research and import and export tutorials, this is just standard, default, factory setting ZBrush out of the box. They clearly wanted you to spend less time learning the software and more time using the software. Because it's not about ZBrush. No one cares about ZBrush. ZBrush is just the hammer, it's a tool to get to the awesome art. Now I am honestly surprised that to this day that we still don't have ready to go base male and female bodies out of the box clearly visible for new users right here. Like don't get me wrong, I love Suzanne as much as the next guy, but let's be honest, nobody in the history of history got into 3D because they wanted to sculpt Donkey Kong. And there's literally thousands of free human base models Blender could use. Hell, I'd happily fix up Blender and Blendo for the task if they contacted me. But my point is there should be default human bodies out of the box, and they should should be intuitive and easy to find. You shouldn't have to look for them. They should just be there. You should be able to find them on accident. Now, the main argument that I've seen against this is, well, you can add your own meshes to the list if you want. And that's true. But you have to learn how to do that on top of everything else that a new Blender user is gonna have to learn on the first day. That's a lot of extra clicks and minutes wasted on something that could have just been one click. If we just put base bodies right here. Again, there was a lot of other things that I originally had on the list Blender should steal from ZBrush, but this was the small and most reasonable thing that I could see the Blender devs implementing tomorrow if they wanted. So that's the main thing I'd like to see, and I think it would save new users a lot of time. If you'd like to see the other things I had on the list, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.